Uh, hello guys, today in this video we will learn how to use media query in CSS. So in the start of the video we will learn how to use media query exactly, what are media types, what are expressions and rules and stuff like that. And in the last part of the video I will be sharing you with a list of all the media query that I personally use with uh, all the websites that I build for my clients. So stick till the end of the video uh, to get that list. And if you already know what media query is and you are you're only for the list, then definitely you can skip the video and go to the list. And in the end, I also explain how I use that list. So make sure you watch that particular section. Okay, so without wasting time, let's uh, get right into the video. So here, to start, if you guys don't know what exactly media query is, then we use media query when we want to make a website responsive. Now, what does this mean? Making a website responsive is uh, the website that you see on a desktop has to look really good when you see it on a mobile. If your uh, website is not responsive and you just build it for a desktop and when you open it on a mobile, it looks it looks all messed up, right? So responsiveness is what comes in place at that time that it becomes like it helps you to make your website responsive on mobile as well. Okay, so that is what Media Query is going to help you in. So let's start with understanding how to use media query. So the first thing that you need to do is write at media. And then here, as I mentioned, we have media types. Okay, so we have uh, three different media types that is screen, print, and speech. And we also have a keyword all, which means all of three. Okay. So screen is our normal screen on which there will be changes. Print is... um. Like if you do only print, then whatever CSS you write inside of that media query, that will only show up when a person tries to print that particular page. Okay. And speech is when um, there is, um, I mean, those speech devices that are there, the person who cannot see and, you know, they can only hear. So it is at that time that the speech um, will be implemented. All right, and talking about the expressions, as we go, we will talk about that. So in most of the cases, you will be using all or either screens or print. So we say all and to concatenate our expression, we use the word and and here our expression or rule. Let's uh, start with max width 500 pixels. And we give these curly braces. So this is how you write your um, media query it is this simple now what you have to do is you just have to put some css in there some changes in your css uh, so that it looks um that way in that particular resolution so i will uh, show you what i exactly mean now to uh, see the uh, different resolutions on a desktop what you do is right click click on inspect and this is the button that you will be using if you hover on it. It says device uh, toggle device toolbar. Or you can also um, press Control Shift M. That is the shortcut for it. Here, if you see, this is the dimension responsive. This is where you can uh, give your own custom values. And here you have all the devices that you can use. Okay, different devices that even if you click on this, it will automatically take up the space of that. Okay, so let's keep it responsive. Let's keep it 100%. Now, what we'll be doing is max with 500%, sorry, 500 pixels. I will show you what it means in a while. So let's say we give a heading, our heading, a color of green. And when you refresh here, you'll see there is no change right now. Okay, it says max with 500 pixels. So here, if we just look at the number over here it is 512 and when i go smaller than it the color changes to green right so this is what max width means okay so this css whatever you write inside of it it will be applied to devices uh until 500 pixels okay from 0 to 500 it will apply the css only to those devices okay so you can remember it in this way that max width 500 pixels means max will be 500 okay max will be 500 and below that any device will be there uh the i mean the css in there will be applied to anything that is below that 
Okay, so max is 500. Below that, everything will be having uh, my CSS that I've put inside of this. Now, for example, let's say content. Content also, let's change its color to maybe uh, blue violet. We save and we refresh here. You see the color changed. And if I make it bigger, it changes again. All right. So this is how um, your media query works. Now, the other things that we see here is we have max width. That is the most used one. Then we have minimum width as well. Now, let's say min width 500 pixels. And now we come and refresh here. Now, if you see you have it red and blue, right? Even if it's less than 500. And if you go bigger, it is uh, changing its color according to this. So, don't try to remember both of them. It will be very confusing. Just remember max width. That is 500 is your max. If then anything below that will have your this thing. And minimum width, how will you remember that is just think it as opposite of max. Just think it like that. If you try to remember these things, then it will get really very confusing and you will never be able to remember this. So, that is how you should remember it. That is how I personally rem remember it. So, and it's easy for me. So, that's just my um, advice. Rest is up to you guys. Then talking about width is if we say width is you can say maybe greater than equal to 500 pixels. So, now this is way clearer than what it is seen here, right? Whatever is written, it is clear. When you see, you understand, okay, if the width is 500, it's going to remain the same. If it's greater than 500, then also it will be applying these. And if it goes below that, then the color will change. Okay, so this is self-explanatory. I don't need to explain it. But avoid using uh, this as it is said that this still does not have compatibility with all the browsers. So you better use max width, min width. And the last one that we'll be seeing is orientation. So let's say orientation, we say landscape. We have two orientation that is landscape and portrait. Okay, landscape is when your width is um, more than your height, that is your landscape. And when your height is more than your width, that is your mobile device, those are portrait. Okay, so here, if you see right now, our orientation is a portrait, correct? If I make it landscape, let's refresh this. And you see uh, the thing changed. If I make it portrait again, it goes back to the previous thing. If I make it landscape, so this is how your landscape thing works. And instead of landscape, if we write portrait here, And we refresh. Now you see that the green color is when it is in the portrait form. And when you make it smaller, it goes back to the previous one that is over here. Now this is the basic way to use it. You can also combine it with other expressions like you say um, orientation. I want portrait and I want a max width of 500 pixels as well okay so all right so you want it to be portrait and also your maximum width has to be 500 pixels so as i explained you maximum width 500 means anything below 500 or yeah anything below 500 has to have these uh, styles or colors right so this is below 500, we refresh. You see this is below 500 and it is portrait. So it has this. Now, if I make it landscape, do you see it uh, goes back to normal, but still it is max width below 500. Now, why this? This is because we have used the and uh, concatenator over here. That means that it has to be portrait. It has to be max width 500 pixels. Then only it will apply this. If in place of this and you just put a comma, and you refresh now you will see in either of them it will apply this so right now if you see it is falling in only this category it is landscape but it is max with 500 so if it is landscape and if you make it uh, like um you know 
bigger than 500 pixels then it won't be applying because it is not um, following this neither is it following this okay so this is how our or and and works it is same as it works in the programming languages and is both of them together or is either of them okay so i hope uh, media query is clear to you guys now it is not very difficult once you start using it and you build your own list it becomes very easy you don't really need to you know um i mean study so much in depth about media query it is very simple once you understand these basics and i'm pretty sure after watching this video you might have understood this and still if you have any confusions you can put them in the comment box below and i will be very happy to answer them all and help you out and also still if you have doubts you can uh, definitely dm me on my instagram and i will help you out there now for the part that you all were waiting is the list.css this is the list that i personally use for any of my uh, clients website that i get and here let me show it to you i have media queries from large screens that is 1920 up to the smallest mobile of 320 pixels so how to use this is i will just share um, a link to this in the description box uh, below you can just go there and copy this list or download this file so here how do i use it is whatever check on number is written above this go to that particular dimension over here that will be 1920 go to this you this will be automatically uh, adjusted you don't need to play around with this this is just absolutely width is what matters the most when it is about the resolution okay so and the height only matters when you're making like a one screen design that has to fit in the entire screen and does not have to like should not move or anything like that and there, there is where height and things like that come in place but this is the main thing that we used there are more media query uh, expressions and stuff but i haven't covered them in this video as they are not that much used these are the ones that are used the most so that is the reason i explained only these to y'all right now i would suggest focus on only these and once you really master these and you want to learn in depth then maybe you can do your more research and study about it later on okay at this point you just need to use uh, the width and things like that okay that is more than enough now the second one is 1440 but the max width is this so you just go to 1440 and then check your um, screen there and whatever changes you are doing just put them in year same for this 1366 1280 1024 and 768 put your css here and this is the last one so if you make your website responsive in all these resolutions then i don't think you will need to look back you will be having a perfectly responsive website on all the devices being smallest mobile large mobile tablets uh then small screens uh laptop screens let's say uh large screens and all those screens so i hope this helps you guys uh so yeah that's pretty much it for the video i hope this video uh helped you guys if you guys learned at least one thing from the video then please do not forget to press that like button also subscribe to my channel i'll be coming up with uh similar videos like this and also do mention in the comments below what would you like to see next uh, so yeah that's it for this video uh, thank you so much for watching and sticking till the end uh, see you in the next video till then bye